foot phantom back. This time let's discuss multiple thick calluses, also known as hyperkeratosis. Here we go. Okay, there are various types of hyperkeratotic lesions in combination with dry skin on the bottom of the foot. Sometimes it can be associated with itching. In this case, it was both. Eczema was a diagnosis as well as hyperkeratosis with multiple callus formation on both feet. It makes it appear as though it is alligator type skin on the uh, bottom uh, part of the foot. This can be addressed in many different ways. I will de discuss the exact medication that was used at the end of this video. As you can see, it mainly affects the plantar aspect of the foot. There is a small callus there noted on the uh, fifth digit along the lateral aspect. That may just be a pressure type callus. In regards to the bottom of the foot, you can see already within the first two weeks, significant decrease in callus formation uh, with the utilization of um, a hydrating lotion in combination with a steroid. Initially, a steroid uh, type cream of uh, mild uh, potency was utilized. That did not uh, improve the uh, dry, itchy skin as much as uh, we would like. So I increased the dosage to a, a moderate strength a steroid. And at this point is when we noted significant improvement of thick, scaly plaques each week utilizing a combination of a tissue nipper as well as a 15 blade, the plaques circumferentially around the hyperkeratotic lesion was slowly clipped and debrided to decrease the thickness of the callus. With these kinds of calluses with surrounding thin skin, it is very difficult to utilize a blade. So I just clipped around the edges of the skin in combination with uh, having the patient use a uh, moderate strength steroid significantly decreased the amount of hypergarotic tissue. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button. All right, so you can see with utilizing this hydrating lotion and the debreeding technique with a tissue nipper as well as um, a nail nipper and a number 15 blade, Circumferentially around each plaque, a small amount of skin was removed to decrease the thickness and allow increased penetration of the moderate strength uh, steroid. You can see the skin uh, is clearing uh, both along the plantar aspect of the uh, forefoot as well as the rear foot. The midfoot area or the mid arch area is pretty much clear of plaques at this point. These plaques along the forefoot are very thick and very difficult uh, to debreed uh, due to the uh, thickness and the firmness of the plaque. As you can see, there is a little space in between good skin and the hyperkeratotic plaque. Uh, this is the area where I use a uh, tissue nipper to get in between and just clip around the edges uh, carefully in order to prevent uh, any type of uh, damage to the skin. Here you can see uh, a significant decrease once again of plaque formation. Um, this is uh, week number six. On both heels, um, you can see that the plaques are decreasing in size as well, with pretty much normal skin noted along the forefoot. Here are the tools which were utilized. This is the tissue nipper that I was talking about. There's various sizes of this tissue nipper. Uh, these are very, very sharp. And if you utilize these for anything other than cutting skin, they will become dull very quickly. On occasion, if the callus is very, very thick, uh, sometimes I can utilize a um, nail nipper, which you have to be very careful uh, with utilizing this kind of uh, a tool uh, for debriding uh, calluses. And of course, uh, once the uh, calluses are not as thick, I utilize a number 15 blade. This is a retractable type blade that is um, easily stored 
uh, and, and can be uh, placed along the back uh, table uh, in the retracted position uh, to prevent any type of injury. Let's take a look at the before and after pictures uh, and video. You can see here the thick plaque formations uh, circumferentially around the um, uh, forefoot uh, as well as the midfoot and rear foot uh, that leaves a scaly type appearance, uh, very similar to um, alligator uh, type skin, as I had mentioned before. Um, let's uh, take a comparison view uh, to the um, post treatment, which you will see um, pretty much the entire scale along the forefoot has completely resolved. The plaques around the uh, uh, hallux, uh, the, the gray toe, and the lesser digits is gone. You can also see significant decrease in uh, erythema. Uh, in other words, the redness around the uh, gray digit, second digit, uh, in fact, all digits, uh, the redness, uh, as you can see, compared to the uh, pretreatment, is significantly improved decreasing the inflammatory uh, response, utilizing the uh, moderate uh, potent steroid. That is the right foot. Here is the left foot. You can see uh, very thick plaque uh, along the uh, dorsal aspect, I'm sorry, along the uh, top uh, photograph and video as compared to the bottom video with the plaques along the midfoot or the uh, middle aspect of the plantar foot as pretty much resolved. These plaques are very loose. Uh, minimal debridement is uh, needed at this point. Uh, I usually switch to just a straight hydrating lotion uh, to keep the skin moist and to prevent uh, re-plaque formation. At this point, itching is no longer a, a concern, and it's only the plaques getting caught on the uh, sock, uh, as well as walking barefoot on a carpet, um, will so sometimes cause uh, continued pain and discomfort. Utilizing just a hydrating lotion alone, improvement of skin thickness will continue. There are various links below. Uh, in this video that describe different contents of different kinds of creams, including urea, collagen, elastin. Uh, there are some natural uh, products as well uh, that um, contain plant extracts, ceramide, as well as um, safflower, seed, oil, glycerin, and salicylic acid. Um, the main uh, steroid that was utilized in this video was beta-methasone valerate. Please look below for continued links and please don't forget to subscribe leave a like and follow foot phantom out see you soon